channel salesforce show so today we are going to learn about what are apex triggers in our salesforce.com like how they works what are different kinds of events that fired in apex triggers and all that so let's start with our so what is trigger so in apex the trigger is used for invoking any class like uh, invoking is it used to call any apex method allow us to perform any custom operations when session before or after changes to salesforce record so what does it means triggers are called triggers are called automatically okay we don't need to call any trigger it fires automatically on actions okay which is like insert update upset like this okay delete and delete so all these things we are going to see how we can so the first thing which we have to clear in mind that triggers don't need to be invoked by any other thing it's run automatically for example if i want to create a new record so can you tell me what kind of operations i am performing during the creations of a record yeah correct so this time i am trying to insert a record right so there are two phase during the inserts so the two phase are so the first one is before insert what does it mean insert so this things like little bit creepy right so before insert means suppose i click save here okay if i click save here so what it will do it will store it will create a record right it will store this data test account inside our salesforce database and it will create a record correct so before before making any changes before making any changes into a database for example if i click on save okay if i click on save so record has been created right record has been created but before uh, submit and creation of record okay before submit before clicking the submit button and creation of the record this two action has been done but between these two actions there is some little bit time right a millisecond time we can might say one or two millisecond time in which our salesforce is calling our backend operations to uh, to make this transaction to store this data test account into a database correct after storing this database then he be able to create the record now that is the time that is the time when our before insert trigger will get called means it will get called before your actual data get stored into your salesforce database before insert and after insert these are the two types of event which are performed during the insert operations so i hope you got it so let's go and check what is the user and what we can do using both so like as we already know a trigger is a apex code like it is normally written as a form of apex code only like we use apex programming language only to write this trigger and it execute on before or after like we already know so what are the operations we can perform well, during which operations these triggers will get called automatically so these are the six dml operations like insert update delete merge upset and undelete so these are the six operations during which a trigger will get called if you have written a trigger on that particular object and one more thing is to tell you that so this trigger whenever we create a trigger so we create on a s object okay so if you create a trigger on account objects okay so for example i create a trigger on account object so whenever a changes will done on account record in that case this trigger will run for example i may have written the code of trigger 1 on account object and i have written the trigger 2 on uh, contact object so uh, when a changes when a operation will get done like insert of date or anything any operation will get dml operation will done on account record then trigger 1 will get called because we have created this trigger on that object and if any actions is done on any contact object record then in that case con a trigger 2 will get called because we have written trigger 2 for object contact okay
let's see what are the use of before triggers and after triggers so there are basically two types of triggers okay we have already discussed this before trigger and after triggers so before triggers are used to update or validate like you have told me to validate so this is that is the correct point it is used to either update or validate record values before they are saved to the data so for example if i go and let us do if i go and try to create a new open whenever a new record is inserted whenever a new account is inserted and if the is available checkbox of that record is is true then automatically then automatically the field value of rating should be assigned as hot so this is how we can do we will only mentioning the values inside this two fields but we want to check two things are true during the creation during the insertion then the rating field to the hot value will update automatically so that's what it means to update or validate record values before they are saved to the database or if you don't get it so don't worry about it i am going to show you the demo okay so second one is after trigger so why after trigger is getting used so after trigger are used when you want to access the field value data set by the system like such as record when you create a new record okay so before in the before creation before trigger you will not get the record id of this record so for example if i click on save so or before trigger got run but before trigger got run even before this record has been created so in that case you will not get the record id you will not get the record id but in after trigger what will happen after trigger will get called after your record is saved successfully into your salesforce database so in that condition what will happen we will be able to access the record id through which that trigger has been called okay and apart from that apart from accessing this fields record id last modified that we can also we can also update the other as object records so for example i want that whenever a test account created whenever a record sorry whenever a account record get created so after creation just uh, understand it after insertion of any account record just creates it related contact record automatically like you can see it is created automatically test content we have just created test account and test account has been created in the contact created content because because i have already written a trigger to do so there are two types of trigger and inside this there are these six operations I mean, these are the six operations on the basis of what these two triggers can be get called means either it can be before insert or after insert or before update or after insert update like that i hope you find this video helpful so that's all for this video